Welcome to The Weekend with me, Steve Savant, national financial columnist and talk show host. This weekend I'm talking about how to frame your practice. And to help me with the talking points, I'm using the acronym FRAME. F-R-A-M-E. Focus, read, aim, and market, and then expertise. Let's go to the board. When I'm looking at framing your practice, the reason is, is because we've seen so many people coming into our practice right now, whether they're bankers, whether they're registered reps from security, or property casualty agents, and especially medical agents coming in after the new legislation for healthcare. When I'm looking at the acronym FRAME, the first word I want to talk about today is FOCUS. And FOCUS is not what you think. People think that FOCUS is looking at something like a laser beam, concentrating on it. But actually, FOCUS is much like my glasses. I go into the optometrist, and every year he looks at my eyes, but it's all based on trial and error. He checks for my peripheral vision. Am I seeing clearly on the very outskirts of my eyesight? But he also walks me through a battery of trial and error to see, are these prescriptions, are these corrective lenses correct? So when I'm looking at focus, am I really seeing the market for what it is? And the only way I can do that is to go through my test until I see clearly. Once I've seen clearly, then I can go to the next step. And the next step is read. And what I mean by read, I'm talking about reading the landscape. The financial services is so it's such a huge industry. And there's anything from fee-based planning to insurance to financial uh, 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 advice, all kinds of technical issues of selling commodities, people who just deal in options. It's a huge market. So once I know I'm seeing correctly, I want to see all the options out in the market. And I want to see the whole panoramic view of the landscape that's out there. So if I'm coming in, I might choose a specific area. Maybe it'll be as a registered rep, I'll get into asset allocation. Perhaps I like the issue of risk management when it comes to property casualty. All these areas are part of our entire community of finance. And so I'm trying to figure out, do I see right? And do I have a pretty good view of everything that's out there? After that, I want to look at the idea of aiming at something. What should I aim at? I'm going to look at an area where I think I can flourish, where I think I have some expertise, where I think I can take my skill sets and apply them into that area. The market is just too big to have a general practice, so you're going to have to find some place where you think you fit in. And once I do that, I start aiming at it. For myself, almost 30 years ago, I was a full securities rep, Series 7, Series 24, life insurance, but what happened for, to me was, I was looking for a second to die carrier, there was not that many back in the day, and I couldn't find anybody to really help me with life insurance and understand it. That's when I knew that's gonna be probably a, a area that I wanna go into and still keep my registered rep practice and of course do asset allocation and all the things I normally do as a rep. But I had to take a segment of the financial community and I had to separate it and say this is the arena or area that I'm gonna stay in. And once I do that, and once I know that, then I can do another issue, which is I can learn how to market to it. Once I understand where I'm going to play, I'm going to look at the marketing area for this, and then I'm going to play to it. Now, it may be supported, especially today, with internet video. It could be supported with social media communication, like tweets, blogs, articles, mini articles, sometimes even white papers. It can work all these areas and make them integrated between your communication and your videos. I want to look at the area and look at my area of insurance. So in my, uh, as an example, I chose life insurance and annuities, and sometimes I do a subset of disability and long-term care. But in my area, I'm dealing in defense. I'm in the financial community of defending something. In insurance, it could be defending income from taxation. It could be indemnification with life insurance. It could be dealing with inheritance and transferring assets to the next generation. And the last thing I want to do when I'm looking at how should I make this work, I got to pick an area of expertise. We can all have a general practice, but we have to have an area we can carve out where we can be professional and really be the person they look to as an expert, a third party substantial legal authority. I want to go to a place where I can niche out an area. For myself, I chose life insurance on the tax issues, on the physiology issues, on the product issues. I looked at that in every area and said, I want to become 
an authority or somebody that knows this area because I, at the time I did this, I didn't really see that many people addressing and speaking to it. For you, it could be different, but that's what I'm looking at when I'm trying to frame my practice. I need to go through these basic modules and understand how am I going to build a practice out, a general practice, and a practice that carves out an area of expertise. To see right, you're going to need the right focus. And with the right focus, you'll be able to see the big picture. Then you can aim at your target market and begin marketing to the right audience. But most of all, you're going to need an area of expertise where you can become a resource, where you can become a recognized authority. That's what separates the players from the pretenders. I'm Steve Savant. Have a great weekend.